Okay, so get that we're diving into this crazy legal drama that's blowing up in Ghana's music scene. Oh, yeah. It's got everything, accusations, defamation, even a hint of an unsolved murder from way back. Sounds juicy. Ready to unpack it all. Absolutely, let's get into it. This case is so wild, it really makes you think about how much power social media has. Right. And the legal system, all its complexities, and how unsolved crimes can like still have an impact years later. It's mind-blowing. So we're talking about Bulldog. Bulldog. Yeah, you know, he's an artist manager, real name Lawrence Nana Eziama Hansen. Oh. And then there's Shadow Wall. He's a huge dance hall artist. His real name is Charles Nee Armamensa Jr. Oh, Shadow Wall. I know him. Yeah. So all this is based on a news article we found. Okay. It's from 3 News in Ghana, published on November 8, 2022. Got it. And, uh... Well, it all revolves around the death of Fennec Okar. Fennec Okiar. He was murdered back in 2014. Oh, wow. That's right. I remember that case. Huge deal in Ghana. It really shook everyone up, and they never solved it. Exactly. And now it's all coming back up because Bulldog is suing Shadow Whale for defamation. Yeah, seriously. Yeah, it all started with this Facebook post where Shadow Whale claimed that Bulldog, like, straight up confessed to him about being involved in Fennec Arnold Care's murder. Whoa! Hold on, he just threw that out there on Facebook? Yeah, crazy. I'm talking about dropping a bomb. That's a bold move. Gotta give him that. But uh, for this defamation lawsuit to actually stick, you know, Bulldog's gonna have to prove a few things in court. Like what? Well, first off, he's gotta show that whatever Shadow Whale said was false. Makes sense. Then... He has to prove that those statements actually hurt his reputation. Okay. And finally, he needs to show that Shadow Whale was either careless or straight up meant to cause harm when he made those statements. But, you know, if what Shadow Whale's claiming is actually true, wouldn't he, like, have to report that to the police? I mean, we're talking about murder here. Yeah, you'd think so, right? Huh. But, um, legally speaking, there's no rule that says you absolutely have to report a confession. Especially one that happened years ago i mean morally that's a whole other can of worms but the law doesn't really see it that way huh interesting and the fact that he went public on facebook instead of going straight to the police well that definitely makes you wonder about what he was really trying to do right like what was his motive is he trying to be some kind of vigilante or is this just about messing with bulldog's reputation oh no either way bulldog's not messing around he's demanding a public retraction a full-on apology for a whole week and he's going after damages, all of them, general, special, punitive, you name it. Wow, he wants it all. But uh, that's interesting about the damages he's seeking. Makes you think. What do you mean? Well, general damages, those are all about how Bulldog's reputation got hurt. Think about it. Could he have trouble booking clients now? Do people in the industry respect him less? Tough to put a price tag on that. Yeah. Then there's special damages. Those are for specific money he lost. Did he lose a contract because of this whole thing? That kind of stuff. And then there's punitive damages. That's where the court really lays down the law. They're meant to hit shot a whale when it hurts. Make him think twice before doing something like this again. Yeah. Teach him a lesson. And speaking of hitting hard, mm -hmm. there's this one line in the article that's a direct quote from Bulldog's lawsuits. Mm -hmm. It says that Shadow Well is basically calling him a criminal gangster. Ooh. And that he should be locked up. Strong words. Oh, yeah. They definitely chose that wording for a reason. They're trying to show the court just how bad this alleged defamation really is. I see. If Bulldog can prove that people now think he's some dangerous criminal, well, his case for damages, especially those big ones, is going to be a lot stronger. That makes sense. But it's interesting that he's focusing so much on that criminal gangster label. Mm -hmm. Does that mean he's not as worried about the accusation about... Fennico Kyer's murder? Not necessarily. Maybe he's just playing it smart. How so? Think about it. By going after the criminal gangster label, he's directly addressing how this is hurting his career, his social life, you know. It's strategic. It could be that he's planning a whole separate legal action for the murder accusation, or maybe he's hoping the police will figure that part out. Oh, that's right. The article did mention that the police are now looking into Shadow Wall because of what he said. This could breathe new life into the Fennec O'Care case. Who knows? Maybe they'll find new evidence. It's crazy to think that a Facebook post could accidentally help solve a cold case. It's definitely not impossible. And on top of all that, think about the impact this is having on Ghana's music scene. Yeah. You've got these two huge names caught up in this mess. Everyone's talking about it. It's a reminder that the industry has a dark side. All those rivalries, the jealousy, and the risks that come with being famous. Absolutely. It makes you think about how much responsibility someone like Shadow Wow has. 
He's got a massive following. His words carry a lot of weight. This whole thing just shows how easy it is to spread information on social media, true or not, and what kind of consequences that can have. Couldn't agree more. It's a cautionary tale, and not just for celebrities. What you put out there online can come back to haunt you even years down the line. This case really brings up those bigger questions about free speech and how far it goes. How do you balance that with someone's right to protect their reputation? It's a tough one for sure. We started with what seemed like a simple Facebook post. And now we're talking about lawsuits, unsolved murders, and the whole power structure of the music industry. Mm -hmm. It's amazing how everything's connected. It really is. But here's something to think about. Just so, what if? What if Shot a Whale had gone straight to the police instead of posting all that stuff on Facebook? Mm. How would things be different? Would the police have taken him seriously? Would Bulldog's name be dragged through the mud like this? Makes you wonder. Yeah, it does, doesn't it? Well, this deep dive took us on quite the ride. It did. So many twists and turns and who knows what's going to happen next. One thing's for sure. This whole thing proves that things aren't always as they seem. You got that right. So to everyone listening, don't let this be the end of it. Keep digging into this story. Do your own research. Form your own opinions. We've given you the key info, the context. Now it's your turn to explore. Exactly. It's a fascinating case.